Bear Grylls urges scouts at Jamboree to look after each other during heat wave. <laughs> Folks, this is Fernando drinking our video for March Revivals. Now, I already did a video about this mess of a scout event in South Korea, and it just got worse since then. Thousands had been evacuated. Not only the heat wave, but poison food, rotten food, no way of, of cooking. I mean, this is what some of the parents are telling um, the media. They didn't have bedding, they didn't have any equipment to cook food, store food, they didn't have food at all that first night. Instead, Sayers says, they gave the kids shovels to dig irrigation ditches around their tents to prevent flooding. She also says sanitation issues quickly arose with limited bathrooms and only 70 cleaning staff for 40,000 campers. 70. There weren't enough showers, oh. Sayers explained. So in some cases, adults and kids showered together. So that's an unforgivable you know, mistake Christ. and oversight. Anyway, good thing you had a survival expert there to keep everything going. The bullshit survival, the reality TV survival versus real survival. You don't put 40,000 people in a fucking swamp and expect things to work well. By the way, if you want to learn about real survival and preparedness, I always recommend Surviving the Economic Collapse Three Survival Skills, my books about real survival, which is not what you're seeing here. This is a damn swamp. You don't go camping on swamps. This is before the so-called typhoon storm, whatever it is that ended up happening here. And look at this mess. Look at the amount of, of trash they had here uh, in, this, in this thing. Is this really about uh, survival? Is this really about being prepared, being ready? What are you ready for in this thing? This is just... A big disaster of an event, poorly organized by, ironically enough, people that are supposed to know a thing or two about being prepared. And they are obviously not. So, and the images, I mean... From this sprawling tent city in South Korea, the site of the World Scout Organization Jamboree, which is a once-in-a-lifetime trip that 17-year-old scout Corey Sayers from Fairfax County has dreamed about for years. Minutes after arriving, Corey's dream trip became a nightmare, keeping his mother awake at night. I haven't been able to sleep. I've been worried. Yep. Anyway, you, you know where this is going. You, you get the point. Uh, it's Corey's fault because he was not prepared enough. No, this is the fault of the organizers. You throw 40,000 kids in a, a, a big damn swamp, which is what this is. It's a, a flat, huge extension of, of the pressed land that is uh, murky, swampy, and you just give a few of, this kids, of these kids pallets to make their tents in pallets. Really, that's the solution. Mosquitoes, snakes, uh, insects, heat wave. And what was the fun of this? Where was the event? You, uh, these, these people honestly thought that you, you would just give a shovel to a kid and say, okay, dig a trench around your tent. No, no, uh, Mr. Survival Expert, the main idea here is to avoid having to go camping in a fucking swamp in the first place. That is not practical survival. And look at how the guy is melting here. You see him more deteriorated than any of his shows where he's supposedly doing daring survival stunts. Here he's just about to collapse due to heat exhaustion. Anyway, this is the idea, this is the fun, this was the point. You know what was the point, really? The 70 million pounds. That was what this is really all about, the money. And people that should have known better, people that should have known how to organize. I mean, when you have over a thousand people, you're not talking about camping. You're talking about a damn city, a tent city that you need. 70 people in charge of hygiene and, and, and kids and adults sharing showers. This is a disaster. If you send your kid to this thing, you're worried as hell. And yeah, probably not the best thing to go into the first place. Look, I did send my kids to scouts for a short period of time. It was, it was okay. Some days it was okay. Sometimes it was a complete waste of time. And what we ended up figuring out was, you know, they learn more when we go out hiking on our own and I'm teaching them a few things here and there. They learn a lot more than in any uh, of the uh, things they did in Scouts. Now, I'm not, you know, crapping on Scouts. If your kids go and like it, more power to you. I will say that there's lots of people that send their kids to the Scouts uh, looking for them to socialize more because they do have issues with that or they're not all that um, 
you know, integrate and so on, and, and they want to get them involved in these things so as we have that. So it's usually kids that require more attention, and the amount of real survival -y stuff, the real preparedness stuff that you actually do is far more limited than sometimes uh, adults uh, think. Um, maybe, was it always this way? I don't know. I have no idea how it was 50, 60 years ago. I can only talk from the experience I've had, which was quite limited. But no doubt whatsoever, uh, they, my kids learned a lot more from me than in any of these things that they did, and that's why we stopped sending them all together. Uh, but this is just an example of, of pure greed, um, just looking for ways of getting as much money out of people as possible, and people that had the best of intentions, people that wanted their kids to have one of these real experiences. And there's the brainwashing aspect, because some parents will go like, oh yeah, my son is there and he's having a great time. Well, yeah, I mean, if I'm a kid right now in a hotel in South Korea with my friends, I'm probably having some worthy life experiences that are a lot better than just sitting home playing video games or watching TV. That does not change the fact that this was extremely poorly organized and it's a, a disaster, shameful mess of an event, okay? So, if your kid is having fun, great. I would be very concerned about sending a very young child to a place where obviously there's complete anarchy and lack of control and adults and children are showering together. That would be kind of concerning for me, personal opinion of mine. Again, maybe you have something completely different of your own. But these are the same people that will go to the UN and talk about climate change and saving the planet, and then they will go and leave a dump of a mess of plastic and garbage in these events, right? They will just tell you how it's done and then do this themselves. Anyway, folks, that's going to be all for now. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you want to learn more, again, about real survival and preparedness. You have the books, you have the channel, and see you all next time. Take care.